<laughs> Before proceeding with this experiment, you shall need the following materials. Two, emotionally inadequate frogs. One, tattered odd smelling notebook. One, wristwatch that has been dead for 16 years. Two, off-brand orange highlighters that are actually red upon closer inspection. <sighs> and six recently purchased plastic pumpkins that weigh approximately as much as two pygmy ostrich eyes. After gathering these admittedly odd materials, you are ready for the first step. Step one, when you ever doubt yourself, place the emotionally inadequate frogs in a safe place where they are able to confide in you freely. After you realize that they actually were not talking, but it was always in your own mind that their voice is generated, you are ne ready for the next step. Step two, glare at the outmoded wristwatch for its prolonged incompetence while you realize it was waiting for you all this time in its silent patience to finally look back on all you've left behind. After you realize this, you are ready for the next step. Step three, lay amongst somber blue hydrangeas and let out a sigh. Then pull out a tattered, odd smelling notebook containing your worst qualities. Then take the two off-brand orange highlighters that are actually red upon closer inspection <laughs> to cover <laughs> to cover every paragraph of your shame with them. With these brought to your attention, recognize them as powerful acquaintances, which you are neither the victim nor per perpetrator of. Once you realize this, despite how seemingly ugly or unsurmountable they are, you alone hold the power of how you deal with or react to them. After you realize this, you are ready for the next step. Step four, place the six recently purchased plastic pumpkins weighing approximately as much as two pygmy ostrich eyes in your mouth. And then, <laughs> and then attempt to chew them while gazing directly at an offended fire ant. <laughs> After you realize that you should not give direct eye contact to an ant who is upset and more than eager to shout and rage with vicious conviction, then you go home and binge on assorted confections, cry a bit, then realize that everybody, big or small, is fighting their own personal battle. The result. You are now looking back on this plethora of strange steps and may ultimately forget their purpose. But as long as you look back and smile, then it has served it. Ooh.